and this place blew up on Instagram. So there's actually now an established tourist trap here. How do you feel about that, Pam? I'm upset. Today we want to explore the island of Chargao, find some fun things to do, so we're bringing you with us. But before we do that, how about a quick little intro? mission is to find some food and find a motorbike. We want to rent a motorbike so we can explore this island with some freedom. All right, I think we found a motorbike. So we were just walking down the street and we found this place right here and we saw this beautiful motorbike. We claimed it as our own. We rented it for one week and we got it for 300 pesos per day. Pretty good. Yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. All right, here we go. Our first breakfast in Chargao. Well, actually, <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed already, my voice is way off. Something's wrong with my throat. So I'm going to try not to talk very loud today. But anyway, we came to a place called Kermit Chargao, which is a very nice restaurant. <laughs> we tried to get here for breakfast, but they stopped serving breakfast at 10.30. It's currently 12.30. So <laughs> we got some lunch. I got some chicken curry. So did Pema. What did you get, Joel? I got a lot of cheese panini, I actually got two because I'm feeling pretty hot today. <laughs> By the way, this is our new friend Joel, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, yo, I'm Joel, I'm from Northern Ireland and I'm a videographer out here in Asia. I've been living in Thailand for like six months now, so yeah, new to this game but loving it. Sweet, always cool linking up with fellow content creators. So we'll be hanging out with him and his other friend, Brayden? Brayden, yeah. yeah. Alright, so here at Kermit they have a slack line and Pema is actually a professional slackliner. So we are gonna take notes and lessons from her. Chaser, not a professional slackliner. <laughs> Let's see if she can do this. That's about as far as I'm going to get. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> see how my legs shake. Come up the way I did. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, oh my god, that's <laughs> dangerous. So far, Pema is in the lead with one step. Yeah. <laughs> None of us can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so confirmed, none of us are professional slackliners yet. But by the time this week is over, yeah. we are gonna make it all the way over there and climb that tree. <laughs> but we don't wanna spend all day here, we actually wanna go on an, an adventure. So we have some motorbikes, time to explore this island. Got on the motorbikes, rode for about 30 minutes, and we took a little break at one of my favorite places on the island. This extremely beautiful palm tree jungle. Millions and billions and trillions of palm trees. about an hour in this little palm tree jungle area starting to play with some pigs and then we got a little carried away taking some photos and videos out here but this is a really cool location 
but the sun just went behind the clouds. So now we're gonna hop back on our motorbikes. Where are we going? Uh, we're gonna go head over to the Bent Crooked Palm Tree now, over the river, just to check that out. But the weather's not great, so we're probably gonna pass that on and go to the tide pools. So I came here in 2017, and I think the first people to take a photo here that went big was Jacob and Corey. And like a few days later, Jackson, Jordan, Josh, and I, we came here, took some photos, flew the drone, had fun. And this place blew up on Instagram. So there's actually now an established tourist trap here. It's called the Enchanted River. But now there's like a tour. They have boats that'll take you further up the river. They have a swim and even a raft seat. Welcome to tourism. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Pam? I'm upset. <laughs> On December 1st, 2017, we came here and took some really dope photos, and now they're like way too popular. The, the ground opening was December 1st, 2018. Oh my god! They Oh wow! The Enchanted River was opened exactly a year after we came here to take photos. That's funny. That's Grand so opening. Nice. And then here, see? Very nice Yeah. Oh. That's that tree right there. <laughs> but it, it's literally created a little micro economy. Yeah, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, as long as they're taking care of the environment and doing things in a, in a way that's sustainable, it's supporting the local community. All the tourists come here and pay <laughs> the locals. So at least it's promoting a, a good economy here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could be better. He was just saying how People are gonna come here anyway, so it could be better that it's regulated and hopefully people behave themselves because there's locals watching them. I, I can foresee this tree like snapping from all the heavy people swinging on it all day long. <laughs> I mean, there's a difference between like little like Filipino kids climbing up in a tree and like, tour, like American tourists like swinging on it every day. All right, we got a little bit of drama happening right now. We were on our way to the rock pools and we saw a man fall off of his motorbike. Well, I don't know if any, did you guys see it? I, at first actually we saw one of the, it was like a, a local farm over there that raises roosters and cocks to fight each other and one of them got loose so there was a cock fight happening so we were all like excited about that and then we started leaving and I saw a man like come around the corner and tumble off of his motorbike and he was alright, I mean he just had like scrapes and his arms and legs are a little bloody uh, nothing broken, he didn't hit his head so that's fine and he was still like kind of pumping with adrenaline so he was like I'm fine but he ended up going down to the local hospital, which is like a mile down the road. And Joel was going to drive his bike, but we drove maybe 100 feet. And it looks like the tire is popped and it's not in good shape. So we stopped here at a local's home and a vulcanizing shop. It is a tire repair shop. There's tire repair shops everywhere on this island, so it's very convenient. If you happen to pop a tire, you don't have to search very far for it. But anyway, Brayden went to the hospital with him to let him know that we're just gonna leave his bike here and hopefully he's gonna be okay. Brayden's back! Yeah. What's okay. the sitch? Yeah, he said, we're gonna fix here, leave the key, and then he's gonna get a ride back to that guy and pick it up after. Make him pay. So yeah. he knows where this is? He knows where it is. I told him it's about 100 meters from the curve that he crashed on, so okay. it's all good. Well, I think it's getting dark. The weather is not that great. I don't think we're gonna, you guys think we're still gonna go to the rock pools? All right, well, instead of going to the rock pools, we'll save that for another day <laughs> and just start driving back to General Luna. That's where we're staying. Steve and I just got back into General Luna after our adventure day out, and we're going to start with having mango shake and probably dinner here at this local spot. We used to come here a lot last time we were in Shargao. I never had dinner here, but it was really good for getting food right before going out, and they have really good shakes. It only used to be only 50p. I'll take one of everything, please. <laughs> Chicken... Uh, pecho? Kaunka, let's eat. I got a friend over here. I think he's hungry. Let me eat this first, I'll give you the bone. I don't think he speaks English. Okay guys, our tongues um. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, our tum tums are filled with yum yums and now it's time to go home and go to bed. I'm kidding, it's like 7.30. So we're going to go home, take a shower and edit so you can see all the fun stuff we're going to do today. Alright guys, we just spent some time importing footage and editing and as you can hear my throat, my voice is leaving me. Hopefully after a nice sleep. We wake up tomorrow morning. What are you doing? <laughs> I just want to be in your outro. Okay. 
Well, actually, we're probably not going to get too much sleep because our plan tomorrow is to wake up nice and early and catch the sunrise. Unless it's raining, in which, we, in which case we can sleep in. Yeah, like 50% of me kind of wants it to be raining tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It would be so nice to catch the sunrise and explore more of this beautiful island. Because we didn't get to go to Magpunko. Is that how you say it? The rock pools? Mm -hmm. The tide pools? Just to let you know, if you're still watching this vlog, thank you. Uh, I'm probably going to vlog daily-ish in Shargao just to show you our daily adventures and then make like a big recap video as a travel guide which will be more cinematic and also more insightful but I know some people just like the day-to-day -day silly adventures that we go on so I just want to bring you around for everything. What do you want to say, Pema? I hope that you guys have a great day and enjoy watching our Shargao travel videos and eventually travel guide because we both I think Shargo is a very special place and we want you to see the beauty of that. Yeah. Alright. That's where we're going to leave it. If you're not already, please go ahead and click. Please. Please go ahead and click that subscribe button. And we will see you in the next vlog. Peace. <laughs>